Yo, what's up guys? Haven't made a tutorial in a long time. Decided, you know, I need to start making some more. Um, I'm doing a simple little one today. It's uh, how to make flame text. So, uh, let's begin. So first you want to start off, I mean, I would advise using a black uh, black background this, or a dark background because it looks cooler that way, but you don't have to. Um, you want to get a text, preferably white and uh, select the perspective tool which is this one right here and uh, give it some cool perspective like uh, <coughs> you know some, something that looks like it's laying down on the ground you know so that it for the future reference you'll see it looks it looks pretty cool and realistic that way and then you just want to select transform and then you have a little thing that says fire or well it doesn't say fire it, it, well mine says fire but it doesn't have to say fire so then you want to get a really cool image whether you custom made it or not and like a flame image and you want to select edit and copy and then you want to go back to your text uh, and select edit paste as new layer um, <clears throat> and then just sort of move it over the f over the uh, text so that it uh, looks right now of course fire is covered up so what you want to do is over the fire text I mean over the fire layer you want to select you want to go to mode and select hard light this way it, it intensifies the flame and it also looks like uh, the flame is going at, over the uh, text <coughs> so now you want to keep that flame layer selected. Get a fuzzy brush tool and uh, use the eraser uh, or a fuzzy brush and then use the eraser tool to sort of go around the uh, text to make it look like the flame is actually merging out of it, um, spewing out of it, whatever, to uh, give it a more realistic look. Uh, I personally like to do this you don't have to if you just want to have it engulfed in the flames you could just do that but it actually looks pretty cool this way um let me finish this right here and you can find flame images like anywhere like Google, Yahoo, and it's pretty easy to make it. Just find a flame with a back with a black background, and to make it transparent, you can just uh, use uh, the layer transparency color to alpha tool, and then select what color you want the alpha to be, depending on what the background is, and it'll basically uh, trans make the background transparent. Anything that's that color. So now it sort of looks like you know there's fire coming out of the text. Um, that's really about it. There's not too much. You can mess around with the modes. Some of them look cool, like <clears throat> this looks a little different. If you don't want the flame to be tentified, you can just change the opacity of it, which, you know, still looks like it's somewhat coming out of it, but it looks better hard light. Um, you can try a whole bunch of different uh, modes. Ooh, apparently those don't work. Uh, value makes it look like a black and white flames coming out um, light and only you know it doesn't really do any much it just makes the text go over the flame uh, dark and only actually put the, the text the flame in the text um, there's a whole bunch of different modes to just to mess around with I personally prefer hard light the best when it comes to this specific uh, tutorial but that's basically it and then uh, you can either merge it or ooh, actually don't merge it uh, uh, you want to uh, flatten the image just go to image and then flatten image and it will turn it into one picture and then uh, there you go and you have your cool little text um, if you would like to make this transparent <coughs> transparent uh, before you flatten it you need to remove the background or well, I don't, I don't know. I don't think uh, you'd have to use alpha let, or uh, color to alpha. That might work. No, uh, I don't know. I guess there's really nothing you can do. You'd have to start the image off with no black background from the beginning. Um, but basically, just 
input image, flatten image, and there you go, fiery text. Uh, thanks for watching the tutorial. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, I'll have more tutorials up by this week, so please view them, and uh, peace out.